Ah, oh, those notes! It would take hours to read them all. It would take hours to read them all. It would take hours to read them all. The autumn forest isn't even charted on the globe. Corona is far away. Shana doesn't seem to be home. Hello, you two. Enko, look! The clown's back! How would I know? I've been in Shana's cabin, but she wasn't there. Why? What time is it? I have no idea. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> What's that got to do with it, he asks? What a greenhorn. Oh, come on, Rav! How is he supposed to know? Supposed to know what? Shana's an oracle, a magic being from another world. You can only meet her at certain times a day. At half past noon! Rubbish! Not half past noon, you idiot. Uh, but, but something's supposed to happen at half past noon. Nothing's happening at half past noon. The only thing that might happen at half past noon is the emergence of the first little hint of when Shana will turn up. And when will she finally turn up? In order to discover that, you'd better wait until half past noon, don't you think? I hate you. See you later. Yeah. You know where to find us. We're not going anywhere. Well, that won't work, I can assure you. What's he trying to do? <laughs> he tried to enter the cabin the regular way. <laughs> what a greenhorn. Light shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? We believe so. All right, all right. Do a sleeping giant a favor? What's that supposed to mean? We believe so. All right. Do I sleep at that?
The light shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? Now the light shines onto this note here. It reads, The colors come back into the world. Huh? me oh that that was me actually he shall approach I see only a child in the costume of a clown I'm a carney the carney is lost my name is Shadwick and I'm not lost I'm looking for Shana I am Shana yeah I I already figured that. So, he's able to use his brain then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? A uh, chesky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the Chasky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it, it's true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough! I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? He was attacked by the Asgill. Hmm. The Asgill have never advanced into the Autumn Forest before. Is the world in such a bad condition already? This is indeed disturbing news. What now? Can't you help him some way? If he really is a Chasky, he will be able to help himself. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chasky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. My dreams are meaningful, too. He is not in the position to decide that. All right. Then you tell me if they mean anything. After all, you're the expert, right? I am an oracle. I see things before they happen. I do not see me giving comfort to a clown that slept badly. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a Whispering Stone. What does he say now? The Whispering Stone is with us in the Autumn Forest? He shall show it to Shana. Well, I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. What will happen if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? The Whispering Stone is a powerful object. You said that already. While the Whispering Stone is not in its place in the Royal Palace, the equilibrium of the world is disturbed. This world will end. Like in my dream. 
The clown has dreamed of the end of the world? Yes. It was not a dream then. It was a vision. That... That's what I was trying to tell you the whole time. There are but a few people who can see doom in their dreams. I must discover more. I sense there is a mighty prophecy in this dream. So you're going to tell me what it means, right? Yes, but he won't be pleased. Is that part of the prophecy? Juggling with supernatural powers is not a circus act. He will hear things that were never meant for human ears. I hear Ben snoring every night. I don't shock easily anymore. The clown believes he cannot be shocked anymore. He is a fool. What gave me away? The baubles? He does not take Shauna seriously. It might be a mistake to reveal his fate to him. No, no. I'll be quiet already. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Please go on. Very well. He shall give a full account of the details of his dream. Well, first there is this rocky landscape. Everything is destroyed. I run as fast as I can, and then the rocks under my feet give way. Then, all of a sudden, I notice a blue light, and... Oh... Uh, hello? Shana? Runners, Shana, Shana, you... Uh, all of a sudden, you seem to be, well, uh, I don't know, tense. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Flashy eyes and everything. Kind of weird, but... Runners, Okay, enough of that. This is getting way too spooky already. Uh, Shana, could you please kindly... Sadwick! Ah! This world is about to meet its end. Like the world in your dream, this one too will crumble. You, Sadwick, hold the fate of the world in your hands. Okay. You will be the one who dooms this world. What? It is your fate to destroy this world. What? No! No, hold it! Shana! No! You must be wrong! Hey! You haven't finished yet! I'm sure I'm supposed to save the world, aren't I? Uh, uh, that was a mighty vision! What did I say while I was in the trance? Well, we'd better, uh, better talk that over. Maybe later, okay? The clown must tell me what I prophesied. Yeah, all right, all right. I guess I have to get it off my chest sometime. You said I would... Uh... Yes? You told me. Phew, it's not easy. I just can't get the words out. You said I would... Oh, my. What is wrong with the clown? What is he trying to tell us? Um... You told me I would uh, save the world. Did I now? Yes, save the world. Those were your words. But I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do that. Well... He is in possession of the Whispering Stone? Yeah, um... In a way, yes. Then the task is set. The Whispering Stone must be taken to Corona, to the King's Castle. Okay. And then the world will be saved and not destroyed, right? Yes. Just like in the prophecy. How do I get to Corona? It must be terribly far away. And I don't even have directions. Yes, the clown will need help. He mustn't lose time. The only way is to find Kalida. Kalida will take him to Corona. Kalida? Who's that? Another oracle? I hope it's easier to find her. 
Kalida lives in the middle of the lake. On the island? How am I ever supposed to get there? It is never easy to fulfill one's fate. What am I supposed to do again? The clown must... And that's how I say... Yes. Phew. As it was prophesied. <laughs> Have you ever been wrong? Never. The prophecies always come true. But not always in the manner that one expected. So, there is room for interpretation. What does the clown insinuate? Ah, uh, nothing. Can't you take the stone to Corona? I mean, it's hardly a task for a clown, is it? The responsibility is great, but the prophecy is not mistaken. Oh, what have I done now? Everything that happens follows a plan. There is no need to worry. In the end, the clown will save the world, as told in the prophecy. Yeah, that's reassuring. <clears throat> Where do I find Kalida again? Kalida lives in the middle of the lake. Ah, yeah, I remember. How do I get to the island? I cannot help the clown to find his way. But he is the boy from the prophecy. He will find a light to guide him. A light? What kind of a light? Where the forest is deepest, the chosen one will be guided by light. Hmm. I think I know what to do now. Everything is in the hands of a clown now. He is our last hope.